Welcome back to another episode of Inside the Pride. I'm your host, Ben Diamond. Fresh off a win over nationally ranked Amherst College on Wednesday, we decided to focus this week's episode on the Springfield College women's soccer team, as the Pride is off to its best start in Division III program history. With the defensive unit playing at a high level, we sat down with goalkeeper Sierra Boucher, Jackie Davis, and midfielder Dakota Kelly to talk about the early season success. So our season, I couldn't have asked for a better start. I mean, this team has really come out of the woodworks, you could say, because we had a lot of losses last year. We lost a lot of great players, and for people to come in and step up like they have, I couldn't have asked for a better start. This season has been great so far. Um, it's been really great to have new girls come in, and they've mixed right in with the chemistry, so it's been fun like starting off with the new team. I mean, the season's been going really well so far this year. We've been playing like a team. We've been working really hard and doing all the right things that Coach has instilled in us and I'm really excited for where we're headed this year. The defense this year, the way that these girls came in and took on the role, I couldn't like have asked more from them. I am nothing without my back line, and they support me, and I support them in anything they do. We communicate very well together, and I think since the season has started, everyone has taken on their role, accepted that I need to do what I need to do, and they stepped up big time. The defense has really rose up to the occasion this year because I think C in the back is really just bringing everyone together and being a really good leader back there. And I'm very proud of our new line of defense. They've come in, they've worked hard, and they're doing all the right things. And they're doing really well. Jackie is incredible. I have never met someone like Jackie, and she has had the biggest influence on me. And she always builds me up when I need her to. I come to practice, and she's always there, willing to work, asking for that extra rep, just pushing each other. It brings us closer and it helps, it benefits the team because not only for me is she a huge support, but for everyone on the team can always look to her for support and just to always keep that smile. Sierra absolutely changes the game. Um, it's one thing I noticed from Sierra is she literally can do the little things right to a point where it's inspired me to make sure that I do everything right. I remember it was against Endicott. She made a penalty kick save and that absolutely turned the game around and it just carried our momentum all the way through. Um, it's not often that people can have a penalty kick and you literally stand on the sidelines and you're like, well, I'm not worried because there's a 90% chance she's gonna save it. So that's credit to her and that's credit to how hard she works day in and day out. And I think that's really impacted me and I think it really sets a spark in the whole team. Jackie and Sierra have one of the coolest friendships I've ever seen. I mean, Jackie can make anyone laugh, whether it's your worst day or it's your best day. She always has a smile on her face. And I think that excitement, that happiness really spreads throughout the whole team. And when her and Sierra work together, they're really unstoppable. They push each other to be better and they push the team to be better. I think we have a lot of potential um, in this program right now. I know that in the past, we've always had stronger upperclassmen, but I think the um, underclassmen that have come in have really accepted what this program is about, continuing to be relentless and passing on that message. I think us as upperclassmen have really embedded that into them and they're really taking on the roles that they need to. And even though if some of them aren't playing, they realize that, okay, I can step up later and I can make a difference in this program. This is definitely a legacy program and I think it all starts with the word relentless. I mean, we have it on the back of all our t-shirts and it's really what we strive to be day in and day out. We strive to live up to the players that have come before us and keep building the program. Being a student athlete here at Springfield College is unlike anything I've ever been a part of. You get the support that you need from a team that most people don't get at a school. Like, Everyone understands the pressures of school and managing a sport. And I couldn't have asked for a better like, school to be a part of, to be an athlete and a student. It's not often you get 28 girls who come together like in such a short time and produce four wins right off the bat. So I just hope it keeps going. And I know across the board, we're all really close. So I think that really plays a role in how we play on the field. And I hope that continues. Make sure to come out and support the Pride this weekend, as it will host Coast Guard in its new max season opener on Saturday at 2.30, right here on Brock Athletic Field. Also competing at home this weekend will be men's soccer, women's volleyball, and women's tennis. As always, make sure to follow Springfield College Athletics on Twitter and Instagram for all the live updates. Thanks for watching. I'm Ben Diamond.